Hi everybody, welcome to Style It Live tonight where we are doing an accessory special uh, looking at tops, different tops and the way you can accessorise with really different funky jewellery. So we've got um, our usual giveaways and fun and games and quizzes tonight and those are for you who are joining us live here on Facebook tonight. Um, anyone who's watching on Catch Up uh, later on Facebook or watching on our YouTube channel, um, sorry, you have to join us live so be here next week. Um, we have got so many lovely things to show you. We've got the lovely Debbie. Hello! On contr in control of the camera, <laughs> showing off one of her accessories. I, I really did. want to show you what she's got on today. <laughs> is that going to go up completely? Is that going to freak you out? Oh, God. So where, where am I going? Should I you swap can places? Just, yeah, you can stay there. So, Debs, <laughs> just going to say hello. Hello! I know some of you watch live and have never met Debbie in the store and you had a conversation this week. But she loves her accessories and look how well she's coordinated today. So thank you for that. A little Sammy Crow necklace there. Well, it's all Samuel Crow. It is. Pretty well. All that extra protein. Oh. So have we got anybody jumped on live yet? Uh, Linda Murchie, hello Debbie and Joanna. Hello. Debs, to hi ladies. Happy yeah. Friday, Debs. Happy Friday. How did we I've, get to Friday again? <laughs> I know. I've forgotten my glasses. I'm like oh, squinting to read kitchen? it. They're in the kitchen. All right. Um, Debs can show you some of our displays while I go and get them. <laughs> I'm, I'm going in. Can't believe I forgot those. I need to be able to read your comments. Well, I do think what you've highlighted there is the most popular accessory of all for for many of our customers. Yeah. Is your glasses. <laughs> yeah. ah. So shall we let everybody know um, what the giveaway is going to be yes. today? So obviously because we're doing accessories, our prize will be accessory related. But... What we're going to discover and talk about tonight is how bro uh, broad and varied everybody's taste and style is. So rather than picking something, we thought we'd give you, um, so the, the winner of the phone-in will get £20 off um, jewellery, you know, their jewellery purchase, whatever it is that they choose, £20 off for the phone-in winner. Um, and then we're going to do one of the fun little quizzes and, and um, the winner or winners of the fun little quiz will get 20% off any jewellery um, purchases that are done between now and next week. So what's the word, Joe, for the phone-in? So the phone-in number is 01908 Hope you've all got your phones ready. Yeah, because <laughs> I've just realised I haven't. So oh gosh, glasses, you know phone. It's so funny because tonight we were actually ready early and we've been stood here going, oh, oh, we're la, ready. La, 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 la. And I'd set up the thing, typed the thing, went to go live, and it was like, oh no, my, everything's gone. So I had to redo all that. And now we've realised we haven't got the phone and you didn't have your glasses. <laughs> so that will teach us. For it will. I've got a story about when I was at school once, and I think it was an English um, paper. And uh, I, did all, I did all the um, the writing and everything. And I was like, oh, really smug, sitting there going, look, everyone's still writing. I've finished mine. You know, sitting there, look, I've got ages. I'm so good at this, you know. <laughs> and then, like, literally two minutes before the end, I did the Mr. Bean, turned the paper over, and there was a whole oh, other no. like, um, <laughs> question. And uh, I was like, oh. <laughs> so, uh, yes, that's, oh, my, dear. that's my Mr. Bean at school moment. <laughs> um, so the, quest the, the word for the phone-in is nature. Okay? We shan't say it again, but we shall ask... Um, those viewing now to type it in for anyone who joins us later. Um, and the question, the question, we'd like you to try to have a little guess. You know that um, if you've been looking at our socials, Deb's went to see Take That this week, um, that we do our nights out um, to go and see music. We're all quite big fans of the music scene. Um, but some years ago, Debs and I went to see... Um, uh, a performance at Hyde Park quite a few years ago and I'm asking you to have your guesses about who did Debs and I go to see at Hyde Park some years ago. Okay. Get your thinking caps on. You can have as many guesses as you like. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, just, just, yeah, anyone, anyone you can possibly come up with 
that we might have been to see at Hyde Park. Um, and the winner uh, or the winner or winners for that will get 20% off accessory purchase between now and next Friday. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Jules says, hello, lovely ladies. Hello, Jules. Susie says, evening, lovely ladies. Evening, Susie. <laughs> yeah. They're really quite excited about an accessory. Oh, one, they are. I don't think we've ever done before. We haven't, no. no. Definitely not. So let us know if you're feeling excited about this one and what brands you're hoping to see. Mm -hmm. um, we've got um, quite a good mixture, actually. We have. Um, we've tried to cater for lots of different tastes, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. Um, you know, so what I would say is, like, we do love our accessories here for a number of reasons. Um, but we, we're really interested in cuts and shapes of clothing, uh, interesting design in the clothing. And sometimes that works really well on solid colours. So, um, you know, on plain, solid colours, plain fabrics, but with interesting shaping or details. And then, of course, what you want to do is add a little bit of extra interest by the accessories. And the flip side of that is we really love interesting accessories. And then, of course, we want to buy something simple and it's sort of like uh, not non-competing to put the jewellery on. So, you know, it, the two things kind of go hand in hand, So, which is why um, we are massive fans of the Samuel Corot. Um, we were stocking this. Um, Mum sort of remembers when we were in Paris together and there was this tiny little stool tucked away in this uh, uh, part of the Paris show and discovering, you know, this wonderful, colourful jewellery, the vivacious um, designer Samuel himself, I'm chatting to him, um, and now people come in and go, oh, this is a bit like that stuff that lady wears on the Bake Off. We'll be like, yeah, yeah, we know. We We've found been doing it first. It for a long time before <laughs> she got on the scene. Um, so yes, I think we've got quite a few people here tonight who are big, big, big fans. We have. Of the crow. The crow. Some, some of us lovingly call Susie's it. already put full crow. <laughs> She's also had a guess of who we went to see, Coldplay. Oh, good guess. Yeah, we're not going to tell we're you if that's correct anything, or not right? until the end. Checking. So we want lots and lots of guesses coming in. So, um, so yeah, keep the guesses coming in. I'm going to keep talking, but just because I'm talking, it doesn't mean stop liking, hearting, guessing, commenting, and all things like that. So here's an example. So uh, I think I've mentioned in many videos how, how useful a good white t-shirt, a decent white or white top is for your outfits. Um, this is typical of the sort of thing we would buy. So it's a great, easy tee, simple neck, nice sleeve length, but you've got the interest and the shaping there, which is not only adding that touch of style, but it's also really flattering to put angles on the body. Um, and then, of course, you've got a blank canvas, basically. So this is a famous... Um, Samuel Crow design, uh, which is developed and evolved over time, which is the small medallion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's gone Medall all français. <laughs> <laughs> it might be called medallion to us, but when we have to order it, we have to order in French. It's the medallion. Uh, medallion. <laughs> may we, may we? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> gone wrong already <laughs> uh, oh do we ever put it in our emails that actually it comes with giggles this it is, does this is, yeah this is it i don't know what happens to us <laughs> on a friday night um we become exactly the same as we are the rest of the time exactly like, nothing yes. happens to us this is just who we are right um so i've got that color that color there might be some other ones when we go around the store okay? yeah we're um, going to have a little um tour around the shop yeah, to show you lots of other that. bits. So that's interesting for everyone who, who joins us live or watches on Catch Up that hasn't been to, to um, this store. And we will do another video from the other store at some point because that would be interesting. Um, there's also another medallion style, which is a longer medallion, which would also work on a plain tee, it would just sit a bit, bit lower. So that's a great starting point with Samuel Crow. Um, I have managed to get some new products on the website. So if you have been on and looked and thinks it hasn't changed that much, it has since yesterday mm -hmm. so this new design i managed to get a photograph of it before it's all sold out and so it's on the website we've got these cool glass beads which pick up all the colors and it pick up the color of whatever it's sitting on and then you've got all these choices red pink blue orange yellow and of course we decided it just it's really great on the white t-shirt there so this time is a really nice shape um t-shirt we've done really well with this by loads of garda um, it's great style and also comes in other colours, but the white will show that necklace. And then obviously you can pick out 
one of those colours in a Samuel Corot ring or squiggle earrings or something. And that necklace is £79. So just uh, occasionally try to remember. Say I think there's some earrings we were going to show with that, there wasn't is. there? There is. There is. And I think um, they are right here. So this uh, style, again, I haven't got this one on the website because I haven't done the photograph. So if you want this colour, this is the only pair, you'll have to let us know. The other um, colour choices are the monochrome, black and white, which are always popular, and then uh, another colour with uh, pink and orange, I think, which we can show you when we go around the shop in a bit. Um, and the funky earrings are £39. Um, so, yes, so plain white t shirt, colourful jewellery. We were also going to talk about bold colour. So you can have the colour in your, your tops um, and then obviously you can find jewellery to accentuate the tones you know so for instance here you might be wearing black or white trousers and then you've got the necklace to uh, pull that together this one is one of our other really fun um, designers called Christina Branty um, and she does very uh, striking um, but tactile yeah, pieces very. she loves colour um, and she works with quite unusual materials, so we'll show you some more of her stuff as well as we go through. We've still only had one guess at who we went to see at Hyde Park, so come on ladies, we need yeah. some guesses. Who did me and Joe go and up. see? Yeah, just throw out some names there. We were, um, had a lovely customer in the shop earlier and we were talking about um, a band called TLC. don't know if Elena's on yet, is she? Uh, oh, I can't I'm see her actually. Um, and, and I think this is why we came up with this question. So I said, yeah. I think I think they might have been the first band I ever watched. You know, everyone's always got that that thing, haven't they? Who was the first band you ever went to see? And I was like, oh, that'd be a brilliant quiz question. But I'd already had this conversation with Elena, who's often on the show at some point. So I thought, I can't do that. I said, to Dibs, who was yours? And I couldn't remember because I've been to quite a lot, haven't yeah, I? Been to a lot. And I just could not remember. Ah. <laughs> Can you remember anybody who's watching? Who your first, who the first uh, musical act or first concert you went to see? It's that whole thing about what was the first record you ever bought. Yeah, like that. It's yeah. Like, oh, it really is one of those things quite difficult to keep track of. So we'd it love is. to see, we'd love to see in the comments what the the whole um, spectrum of different music musical acts that everybody's managed to see. Yeah. I can't say any more about apart from TLC. I'm not going to say any more about who I've seen because no. give it, give anything. Not going to give anything away. away. Um, Jules so, says she's not guessing this week. <laughs> she's not guessing. She's not ringing up. Not, yeah. <laughs> Susie says, "How long ago was it, or is that too much of a giveaway?" Well, um, it was. It was a few years ago. I'm going to um, go four, five years, five years. Probably about four, five years yeah. ago. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, was, yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, showing you Christina Brampty on the yellow T-shirt. This is a gorgeous um, soft powder blue from Vitono, this T-shirt. Again, great base. Um, sometimes you just want to have something simple and allow these accessories to stand out. And this has got all of these... Um, uh, what's, what's the word? We call... No. A pass. They we are call that the ladder necklace, don't we? tubes. Whatever the word for square shape, it's not cylindrical, whatever it is. There's the ring that uh, goes yeah. with. That's, let me just show you with the top. Yeah. Uh, just get that out. So the lovely ring works beautifully. And we've got a black and silver ring and a mix of colours we've got in the ring, haven't Actually, we? Actually, the, the Christina Brampty jewellery is here, right here. So we can show you a few of these pieces. Oh, there's um, Jo in the mirror. Hello. Oh. Um, this one I had on in my teaser. Did anybody watch the teaser? <laughs> um, I thought it might be a good idea to give you a flavour of what was going on on the long format because sometimes, um, you know, a few minutes, two to three minutes is enough. Um, but you will want to touch this. It is very. It's this, like flexible um, mesh. And then it's got the, the um, um, I've got no say on aluminium, got the metal, little metal tubes in there in lovely colours. Um, Christina Ramty do fab bracelets as well that you can play around with. Easy on magnetic clasps. 
so you've got the orange and the black there and then bracelets which work with so we're kind of focusing on necklaces in the main up here um, but don't doubt <laughs> that where we have necklaces we also have rings earrings and things to um, complement those oh we've got another guest from Susie Westlife Westlife Ooh. key change <laughs> Celine Dion, Deb Suter Celine said. Celine Dion, nice. No, I've never seen her. <laughs> nice. Um, so. I don't know if this is people guessing or telling us their first co oh, first yeah, gig no, now. This, oh, yeah, that could be. Yeah. Good. So, yeah. So. I think we might still be guessing. I'm not sure. Well, let's. We would be funny if somebody's first gig was. The, the one. Answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, let us know in the comments whether it was your first, like, my gig or guest. Or yeah. somebody you've seen. Yeah. 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 Your favourite gig or... Yeah. And whether you were seated or in the mosh pit or... <laughs> <laughs> Debs is always in the mosh pit. Um, so I'm going to jump around the jewellery designers a little bit just to give a, a big flavour of all the different... Uh, you know, I want to try and get as much shown of the different looks, um, or, uh, yeah, as, as I can. So on this mannequin, we've got Beautiful Story. Um, I'm a big Beautiful Story girl. I do like the, um, I like, well, I like lots about it. But one of the nice things, I think, is about how you can layer it. So um, I've got three bracelets on here. Um, personally, I'm happy to mix gold and silver. doesn't worry me. Um, I mix different colours. And here I've got two necklaces on. So this double one, the shorter one, is one necklace joined. And then a longer one. And what I was going to say with, uh, like particularly sometimes when you're wearing something like a jacket or a blazer, um, you can't have such a wide or bulky necklace uh, in the neck because of having the reveres and, and the sort of narrow shape there. So these longer necklaces and these lighter weight necklaces work really well if you're in a shirt or one of the blazer looks. Um, I've pulled out here. Um, uh, one of the other jackets that I've got which I'm a big fan of with a white t-shirt you know and it would be you can you can put something um, bolder in here but I would say you probably do either just something simple in the neck or we're often talking about you know if you're not taking something here then this is your opportunity to take one of your lovely pairs of earrings let's just for example say if you wanted to go for you can do something quirky and bring that in um, even with a slightly more um, sharp tailored look um, a good example here again is with the beautiful story I've got three three different necklaces layered up here um, and they deliberately create their collection with different lengths so that you can do that you can either choose what suits you um, or layer them and create these lovely effects so um, another instance of taking a nice t-shirt in a solid colour and using your accessories to elevate that. Susie's first gig was the, the Who in Watford. Wow. <laughs> cool. And I, I think Sue Worrell's a guess, um, Elton John. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Guess. I love the guesses. Keep on guessing. Because like we, you stuff. may, somebody may have already said it, but we're not going to let on till right at the end. We want to see lots of guesses, don't we? We do, we do. Uh, do you think anybody's joined who needs us to repeat the telephone number? Uh, okay for a minute. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. well, we'll maybe it, leave it a few we'll couple it, of minutes. Yeah, ten fifteen minutes before we give out the telephone number. Um, yes, I've talked about when you're wearing a blazer that you might want to have something finer or work with just earrings. That's also the case. We would say. If you're going for, um, you know, a top or a shirt that's got a lot more print and colour in it, you know, yes, you could probably put just a small something in the neck if you wanted to, but really, ideally, our instinct here would be to, I mean, this is a great example because you've got loads of colours you can pick from it, but maybe something like this little Christina Branty earring, um, which would give you a nice modern look with a shirt tucked in with a pair of jeans um, and pick out one of the colours. But by all means, you know, 
the oranges, the pinks, things like that. So that's um, one suggestion if you've got a lot of print uh, to, to go that way. Um, also, what I wanted to say was um, we've got some lovely, simple pieces again. So this time we've got a simple cream blouse, very pretty feminine blouse. Um, and it's got that nice sort of summery vibe. And here again, we've taken one of the new Danks Copenhagen layered necklaces. This is layered for you. This is one necklace, but again, um, it's got that layered look, but this is just one piece. Um, and what I was going to suggest was, although we're focusing on tops, occasionally it might be that you've got the color and the print in the trousers or in the skirt or the bottom half. Um, and then you really want to use your accessories to pick up the colors from the top. So for instance here, although this is predominantly gold, Ooh, you've got see. the little red beads. Little red and pearl beads on there, which works really nicely. And equally, if you were going to, you know, go back to your white t-shirt, colorful necklace, all of that works. Um, another example of just a simple t-shirt in a nice colour and then a lovely Oana millet necklace there with those rich copper and orange tones in. So um, just in terms of styling that's the other way accessories really work to build your look like as you saw right at the very beginning Debs has very carefully picked all the green accessories to add that pop of green to the top, the top half, which is all black, just to pick up the prints in the trousers. Um, but, you know, there's no rules. No. The rules are meant to be broken <laughs> in this game. The so options are endless. By all means, you can wear green trousers and pink jewellery. That would look equally exactly. fantastic. Um, so we will... I just want to make sure I show what I do want to show and forget anything tonight, which is always a good game. So... Um, there are also instances, I think, when we're talking about print, where perhaps you've got, um, say, a gorgeous, stunning print like this, um, where you, again, you just want the, the piece to do all of the talking, but you want to accessorise and pick out a colour. So here, perhaps, we would suggest taking the beautiful Awana Millet jewellery there. She's very clever with her colours and um, also with her designs, which are very beautiful. So that would look nice. So this TKS shirt or jacket, this could be one of those um, uh, opportunities where you're going sort of uh, to a, a supper evening or event and you need something just that little bit more up-leveled. Um, and then a jacket like that, which is nicely shaped, then with added beautiful jewellery, suddenly becomes less of a day piece and turns into an evening piece. So... That would be an example there where just a ring. Oh, Susie's wrist. given us two two guesses, Paul Weller and Adele. Oh. Oh. That's, oh. that's different ends of the spectrum there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think whether she's trying to remember if, her, if we've ever said anything about any of these people yeah. in the conversation or if these are just out there guesses. Oh. Has anybody not had a guess yet? Come on. There's I be, think there's, there's definitely some people that haven't guessed. Yeah. Because there are a lot of people who watch on catch up kind of go, oh, I can't join in with the games. If you're here live, have a guess. Have a guess. 20% off some of this amazing jewellery that we're showing you. It must be tempting, surely. Yeah. <laughs> ah. um, have I shown? I just really wanted to make sure I tried to show something of every brand early and see whether anybody's got a favourite so far. I think I've shown Christina Branty a while in a minute. Thanks. Uh, Samuel, Samuel Corot and, and the Beautiful Story. Yeah, we've got probably one more brand which I haven't shown yet. Um, I will show this for a minute because while we're talking about just sometimes you don't need a whole um, combination, but we um, picked out these stunning Dansk earrings, the asymmetrical earrings, which are gorgeous. Very organic spirals there which um, we were talking about sometimes if you're doing, you know, 
sort of um, Zoom calls or that sort of thing. You want something that's a little bit smarter um, and you want something that's easy to work in. Should you have one something like this gorgeous Nea blouse, then those little earrings would be a perfect choice there. The Janx earrings, £49. Absolutely gorgeous. I think that might be the last one with the Nea shirt. I well. think it is, yeah. Um, which is 130 it's a size zero uh it's loose fit so um, i would say that's quite comfortable sizing so i have got just to cover a few other bits um we've also got this lovely lightweight necklace by um a beautiful spanish brand again brand another one we found in spain um sometimes when you've got a plain top and it's all very clean you want that length across the front so this one you've got the detailing here sitting halfway down and then you've got that long v created to cross over the neckline that's 27.95 that one just a really versatile summer piece would look great on a dress or linens and things like that um, and then the other brand that we haven't shown you so far but i will do that next is um Actually, it's another brand we found from Paris. <laughs> so <laughs> it's quite nice. They've got a really big jewelry show there, so we get to find collections that you don't see necessarily over here. Again, these are hand finished, very light, and it's got this gorgeous sort of coppery um, patina. And then I think again, if we're talking about last dolls, I think this might be the last one. Of this. I think it this might be. Yeah. Waistcoat slash jacket, again by Naya. Um, so again, we're looking at things that could be working from home or certainly going out to um, a special occasion or evening. And then your jewellery is going to be, this something like this is going to elevate that to a slightly smarter look because um, it's quite an eye-catching piece. And there will be more of the um, private collection, FL private collection to see when we do our little tour yeah. around the shop. Do we want some tour now? Um, I think maybe we should um, do the phone-in quiz, okay. tell people the phone number. Okay, so the phone number is 01908 585 587. The first person to ring through when they hear me say the word, which we always ask somebody to type in, so there's no confusion. Um, and when we do the little shop tour, I will pick up the phone. So I've been holding it in. Yeah. Because I was like, I can't answer the phone even if you can't. <laughs> so we'll do a little shop tour. <laughs> so, um, beautiful story. We haven't shown you any of this collection because it's a mix and match. It's also not online because this is something where you really want to come and have a personal experience and play with um, the pieces that have a meaning to you or the pieces that you're drawn to and also the colours you like. You choose your chain and you choose your um, notions, your elements, and you can build up your, your, your look specific to you. And it's also great for gifting because you can um, buy someone a necklace and uh, one of the charms, and then for a later special occasion, add another charm to their collection. So that's that. Um, did you want to... Shall I go on this one here? The yeah. The pinks and some more Samuel Curran. In the reds and oranges and then this lovely this is one of the new ne necklaces is orange with the red beads you can then pick up red in your earrings or orange and red ring and then some more up here so um, these are called zig these are our best-selling um, earring it's the largest of the squiggle earrings um, and it comes in two finishes so you've gloss or matte and different slightly different colors in each um uh sort of finish and then this one you'll see it's good to actually talk to this through for people who haven't actually seen them in the flesh it's called little zig and it's the same length it's no shorter it's just got a finer wire so it's got a slightly lighter feel and again, a slightly different uh, range of colours. But Little Sig only comes in the gloss finish, doesn't come in matte. Uh, I think we've got black matte, haven't we? Uh, I think okay. last time we got... As a general rule. Yeah, as comes. a rule. This necklace here is also a favourite. It's called the W necklace. 
it's on an adjustable cord so you can set it up in the neck or um, lower down so if you're wearing a dress or a longer top again we've got great colors this is one of our most popular colors called orange pop um, very popular but we also have I think it's in the window Bing. pink is in comes the window. in purple comes in green comes it's in black Samuel and then I can zoom round to Oana Millet. So um, Oana Millet, um, she's a Spanish designer. She works with aluminium, so all of her, all of her jewellery is really lightweight. So um, earrings are really impactful. Um, they're very light and easy to wear, and her colours just really pop. So she works with solid colours, but one of the things she's really good at is combination. Um, and we've got so many options available to us. We try to cover um, as many bases as we can. A lot of these colours, the new colours, the purple, the blue, the pink, have been added onto the website again this week in preparation for tonight. So if you've looked before and it didn't have a colour that you wanted or a style that you like, now just go and check to see whether new colours have been added. Um, you'll notice with Oana, a lot of the names um, are things like Wave, Earth, read um emerge you know her her story is that she's kind of inspired by um the the living world inspired by nature um and she brings that into all of the elements of the jewelry that she um that she creates so that's awana millet and then down at the bottom this is the fl private collection look we just showed you that one necklace there and here's some of their fun earrings that's more of the necklace in the different colours. The dark, which is the near black. The big hoop earrings. And then the colourful ones. And then moving round to the front table. This is the FL collection earring again. And you can see, again, this is a really good example of what we do in the store, uh, talking about how to pull things together, accessorize, create your look. We blend the, the collections together to create really inspiring displays and also then work with you. This t-shirt you saw us, we put a really bold necklace on it earlier. Here's a very good example of how you can transform a look, make it more day, just with a lighter necklace here, with the brass and the black, which is gorgeous. Also by the FL collection, these earrings here are stunning. Put those on with anything and you're automatically going to dress something up for an evening. So it's not you know, showing them very well. I can get on one the up. glass. One second. That's better. That's better? Yeah. So so you've got this gold mesh here and then you've got the, the patina on the black. The sense of scale. So good size, impactful drop. And that's the gold and the other one they call it white i'm just going to show you close up it's not really white it's very um again earthy sort of um off-white creamy color beautiful and and then these are my earrings i have these uh, again i like those soft tones very unusual hair designs um these here are this FL. One. Also FL. Stunning. So again, there's like folded, lightweight, um, it's hand battered metal, mm. really. And then she puts a paint patina on it. And then you've got the three colours there. Um, really good. Nice uh, natural colourway, even if you're wearing black and sort of keeping everything quite muted. Oh, oh. that'd be the broken one. <laughs> I'll zoom into these square mesh ones as well. Pick those up. These ones. So the same as the um, same mesh as the other ones, but in a square with a big gold rectangle. They're big it's statement. Quite a statement on that one. It's really lovely. Good evening earring. We do like statement earrings. Does everybody else like a statement earring? I know lots of you who are, who I know who are watching like them so this is some new pieces again some great new shapes by the um, Danish collection Dansk um, we've been trying to express as much as we can oh oh phone's ringing phone's ringing who could that be <laughs> hello who's this hello Sue ah oh, fantastic
Yes, well done. <laughs> did you hear it the first time or you? You did. Oh, well done. It's all right. You, luckily, you had enough time to look us up. Oh, fantastic. Oh, well done. Well done. See, yeah, see you in the shop. Take care. Bye. The Sue Worrell is our winner for tonight. Fantastic. I, I did say it twice. You did. <laughs> I missed it first time, everyone. Look at look at the number because she hasn't got it written down. I but wonder whether Jules got it, but she well, was, it was just. On her hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, very good. Dear. So that was the phone in uh, game done. Um, so we still need more um, guesses on who me and Joe went to see at Hyde Park. Yeah, a few years if you're back. struggling, we'll have to drop some clues out. Yeah, won't we? we'll have a few more guesses first yeah. before we drop some clues. I think. Yeah, I'm just going to come round to the silver of the danks now. That's actually just. She's going to be happy with her little fries. Mm -hmm. I was just saying, does anybody here like their um statement? And statement Elena earrings? said, yes, I do. Yes, she does. I think we know. We know no, that. You do you like your statement earrings? You like your statement necklaces? There we go. Very nice. Um, I'm just going to bring this one to your attention. We haven't shown you many of these, and we haven't um mentioned much about them actually. But pivot. Uh, this is a um actually um silver and then a perspex, and they are. Uh, asymmetrical, one slightly longer than the other, and these are a um, made by Jason. So these are a social enterprise where um, uh, people who are at risk of homelessness are given employment to come and make these jewellery out of reclaimed um, acetate from the glasses making process, and um, also brass and silver. And so every purchase from the Pivot collection is actually supporting people. Um, into empowering themselves into better new lives um, and employment. I'll go down and show a few more of those. There's some more pivot down here. So these lovely so, yeah, earrings. It's hard. It's, it's be, you really want to come and see these in the you light. Have to hold them can. up to the light to yeah. see the. So because so colorings. you can imagine all the um, gorgeous frames of glasses and all those uh, interesting colours and this one's got pinks uh, of like purples and greens and yellows in it you can see well yeah, and then zoom in there that's one of the brass, brass and necklaces tortoise and tortoise shell they're all slightly slightly different so there's lots of hand. different ones um and then beautiful story with background yes yeah, so that was the mix and match collection we showed you earlier so these are the Namala bracelet, which is one of our best sellers. Again, because they are, they are standalone, because they're already multi-layered, but they're also really um, good for layering. And you can mix different styles of bracelets in with them. Um, they are a certified B Corp, which again is another social enterprise. So they're um, supporting and empowering women uh, in Nepal and um, on the other side of the world, basically to um, also have fair living conditions and employment and supporting their children into education. So every purchase from the Beautiful Story collection is also supporting and empowering um, people less fortunate than ourselves. And um, every stone that's used also has a special meaning. So um, you can pick your colour or you can just choose what resonates with you. But there's things like Labradorite, for instance, which is intuition, reflection and attracting success etc you can explore those when you when you look at them and every piece will tell you who made, who made it. it so this one citrine tells you um what the stone is and then this is being made in nepal and um i can't read the name of that young chap there you go lovely and then i'm going to zoom back around here to, to the oana So she is known for her colour, but one season she introduced the silver um, and the black, and we were like, yeah, it's still got a place, hasn't it? <laughs> Definitely. So we do just as well, probably, with that as well. I don't know, what's the most popular colour of the Oana? Um, the turquoise and blues are really popular, aren't mm. they? I'm just going to hold that balance necklace. So balance we do a necklace few different colours. With black and copper. Red and copper, um, and then copper and yellow, turquoise and green, 
black and silver, look, black and silver. Oh, I Have think we've sold out with all of those. Oh. So yeah, lots of beautiful colours. And a good range of different styles and shapes. Um, in all, in everything, in the jewel, in the necklaces and in the earrings, they've got you know dro big drop statement ones on the ear. Very versatile little collection. We like playing with that. And then back round to Joe. Hello. Hello again. <laughs> so this is another colourway of the Samuel Crow that you saw around there. There's four colour options on that one. Um, blue, green, red with orange, and chocolate with orange. Um, and so they are now on, on the website. Um, Jill said Oana Millet is her favourite. Yeah, it's beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? It is yeah, lovely. lovely. Um, this one is two necklaces, Samuel Corot. We took this to the big photo shoot um, to work with the Rintel's Black Label collection this season, and they are perfect. Uh, this one also comes in black, this, the shorter one, um, and it works very well in lots of different. And the majority of, of his necklaces are magnetic clasps, aren't they? Yeah. Which makes it so much easier. Yeah, magnetic get them or on over enough. the head or maybe an adjustable. Yeah. Um, I feel we need some more guesses, ladies. Yes, we're not going to It's all gone on. quiet. We're not going to keep guessing. I'm not going to do the fun games. I'm going to play along. So any more guesses on what gig, who we went to see, I mean... Um, Joe went to see in Hyde Park a few years ago. It was very exciting. Shall we say this person is a legend? It's, it's a, a person and they are a legend. Absolute legend. Literally an ab absolute legend. Yeah. yeah. Everybody will have heard of this person. This yes. is nobody obscure. It's probably one, one of the most famous people in music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably enough food yeah. for a second. That will that will do for in. now. Yeah, I'm not going to give away anything else for a minute. Um, so get your guesses in. Get your guesses in. That's it. Yeah, um, one of the other colours. Oh, we've got Tom Jones, Stevie Wonder, Miriam Margulies, Barry Manilow. Oh, oh the big guns they're now. all coming in. This is, this is more like it. <laughs> Keep going, everybody. Keep Rod Stewart. Keep and don't worry if you think if somebody else has said it, said something, and you think, well, I think that too. You can. Bruce that Springsteen. Well. We, we, we can have multiple winners if more than one per person guesses the same, the right answer. That's fine. I'm not going to be precious about this. So, <laughs> Elton John. Yeah, they're all coming in. Yeah, keep come going. On, say as many. Of the names as possible, this big gun. Uh, one of the other fab colours, which works really beautifully on this fine weave uh, Mama B top. We love that. And then there's another new Samuel Corot, which again isn't on the website because I, it, we sold out of them in this shop before I had a chance to photograph them. Um, but we have, I think this is the last one. The last we will one. get some more. And it also comes in the reverse with white cloud with black pearls or black beads. It's called um, cloud of pearls, but they're not actually pearls, obviously. Uh, which we've set on a very nice Rintholt sweater, which works perfectly And the well. other thing with Samuel Crows, they're really, they're big statement, but they're very light yes. to wear. Really, really light. light. Really light. It's um, just a very thin piece of wire inside the um, either the, the cord or the, the plastic coating. So they aren't heavy to wear at all, at all. Um, jumping around now a bit. A uh, couple of these more pieces I wanted to show when we were talking about um, adding silver or gold to a simple top. So here we've got this lovely nail top with just a touch, touch of tan on it and it's perfectly accentuated with a statement earring. So gorgeous piece just to elevate a very simple top. Equally, if you're looking to dress something up for an evening, for example, we um, have pulled out a few possibilities. Um, so here's this lovely and um, silky top with a little bit of glitz in the neck. We put the simple necklace in the neckline there, but if you didn't want to have a necklace there, that would be the place to bring the big statement earrings in to just uh, create a slightly dressier look. We've got Billy Joel and Lionel Richie in the building, oh. and Robbie Williams. Okay, good. 
Good. Shall we say? How, oh, shall we say that the correct name has been said or not? Uh I think we we think the correct name has been typed in. It so now I hope you've been watching what everyone's been typing. You want to go reflecting on that? Yeah. We maybe might hone it in a little bit more. Might give you another clue yeah. in a couple of minutes, just to yeah. yeah. So, uh, so what we said is a solo artist, a legend, a legend, a legend. Yes. Oh, whoever was pretty much like it is now. It, it was, it was like yeah. But then, then it got drizzly on the way home, and we had frizzy hair, and that's when we met Wait, um, Brandon, Brad, Brad, Bradley, 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 Bradley the hairdresser. The yeah. And it's like, don't look at us. Yeah. We've all got a bit, we've all got a bit peaked hungry for our hair. Yes. <laughs> so we've been in Hyde Park all afternoon watching. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Singing um, along, dancing. Oh, yeah. That's very lovely. While we're still on the gold story, um, and also about the simplicity sometimes. Something in the neck that's very attractive and a little bit unusual is all you need. And this, I think, is a perfect piece for Danks to um, dress up this little silky traffic people top. Really nice. And we were going to say can't remember why we've got so many cream tops, but I think it was a little bit like sometimes that you have just a simple top or blouse and, you know, they're pretty in their own right, but then the attractive jewellery accentuates it. But make a very nice combination there. So, um, the bracelets, as we discussed earlier, and this is two of the darker tones, and we've got black onyx there and smoky quartz. Um, on this really nice new blouse, jacket blouse. So you can stack the bracelets up. Um, again, if you wanted to bring an earring in here, you picked the hoop. Perfect. Which is beautiful. Um, and a couple more ideas for elevating a simple top. Another piece of a one a minute, again in these lovely rich orange colours, which are very much a trend. Um, this is the t-shirt version, I've got the v-neck version on tonight. <coughs> and Another question we had was, um, are you a silver or gold fan? Wasn't it? Yeah, some people definitely only do in one camp. Yeah. Yeah, um, and some people... Like me, or I'm, I'm either, either or. or, I don't yeah. mind, I'm Let's either know. or. It's like, who's wearing silver and gold when you've got a crow? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think there's always... There's I always, always like, I've got a bit of there. silver added with the crow. Yeah. There we go. Oh, can't bring my... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Susie says silver, Deb Suter silver, Jill Strachan both. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, we're all for just changing the jewellery with every look. So, yeah. it's, you know, what's needed in the moment. I mean, we don't want to. We don't want to eliminate anything here, do we? <laughs> <laughs> Jewels, both silver and gold, often together. Yeah, nice. Nice. Yeah, me too. Yeah, like that. It's often because I'm like, well, I'm just gonna wear that and that, and it's it looks nice. Like yeah. Often. Um. So, another beautiful story piece here. Um, I think I might show this one earlier, but this top's got a really gorgeous neckline which you can set across the shoulders, which would bring it higher up. So in that case, we would take the necklace off and do something like um, a dressy earring. I've got this one here, for instance. So you could do a dressy earring if this was an evening look. Um, and that's, um, or if you do need something in the neck, maybe if you're doing this and then you've got a jacket over and you feel like you need something just to add a lift to the neckline, then obviously you can do something quite delicate in there because you've got that lovely neckline. And talking of necklines, we did mention this one earlier. Um, it's a fantastic piece. So we, we're dealing not only with print here, but we're also dealing with um, one of our quirky necklines. This one is wired, so you can actually twist and move that one around. Um, but we really felt like, you know, 
with this one it would be something like a gorgeous statement earring this is one of my favorite of Ooh. all time i don't know if you can see that sorry that's it yeah that would be that side actually does anybody actually check their earrings before they put them in as to whether they've got a preferred side because i think some do don't some they? definitely do some don't but some do but i'm often like oh it's which one is which? Yeah. Left and right. Um, and then the very, very popular Zab bracelet, which again, um, in, in the same way as we have these um, Zig squiggle earrings in so many colours and finishes, we also did the same with the mat, uh, with the Zab bracelet because it is a core staple. And in the same notion, the ring, sorry about my God, burn on my finger. Um, which we uh, also do to coordinate with the rest of the collection. And these are pretty well an essential. They are. Outfit, aren't they? they are. You know, if we're going down any of these routes, you know, we'll find the right colouring. Because even if you're not sort of uh, doing the full hog, I think sometimes that's what you want. Just the maybe earrings in a ring or yeah. necklace in a ring. Um, are we getting on any more any second guesses anybody sort of putting the second names out? not really no we've right. gone a bit quiet maybe so maybe we, we need, need to clues. throw maybe a clue please. in um this legendary soul act yeah would you say that would you say soul definitely okay. soul yeah. um is a man if we said that uh, we have haven't said no. that no legendary soul act is a man Top in the more squiggles. So this is a very neat top. It has got print, but it's a discreet sort of all over monochrome print. So it uh, it can take a contrasting and complementary complementary necklace like the Zig squiggle necklace. That's, this will work just as well as this works on solid and block colours. Um, Susie's gone Lionel Richie. We could let them know something what? about that day. Ah, Lionel Richie was on the bill as well. He was. He was. But that wasn't the headliner. No. So Lionel, okay. we did see Lionel. We did see Lionel. That's but that's true. not the one. Because yeah. I remember Jo laid on the floor and kicked her legs in the air like dancing on the ceiling. <laughs> do you remember that? No. You did like <laughs> dancing on the ceiling. <laughs> no. I absolutely do not remember that. You laid on the floor and you did like a... Dancing on the ceiling. I it was assure you that's the only time I've been lying on the grass in my park with my legs on the ceiling. <laughs> oh dear. As far as I can remember. I, remember I do time, always so remember knows. that. Goodness knows. <laughs> oh dear. It was very oh. funny. Oh dear. So yes. <laughs> A good guess, but it wasn't. It isn't the headline act. Um, shirts, same way as I talked about with blazers before. Um, sometimes you're just going to have, you know, because you've got. So this one's gorgeous. This is great for holidays, work, or evening dressing up as a very fine cotton foil, mosh mosh blouse. We love this piece. Um, so here you can just put something in the neck, very discreet, because you've got all that beautiful ruffle at the front. Um, this lovely Mama B gauzy blouse, which I love. Um, it's like a nice lightweight blouse slash jacket, very light and easy and breathable. And actually what I've done is rather than putting something in the neck, I've taken a slightly longer necklace just to cross over the line. So it's, it's quite discreet, but it is just a nice piece to kind of just add a little je ne sais quoi um, to an otherwise quite simple graphic print on that one. We've got another opportunity to show you another piece of Samuel Corot here. So again, if you're looking for a little top to dress up, to go out, this has got one of those lovely necklines. But rather than going for the delicate like we did with the other black top, we've put a more statementy piece uh, with the Miss Lily uh, Samuel Crow necklace. You could equally take the white or you could take, you know, it's got one of those lovely necklines. So you could actually put any type of necklace in yeah. there, really. Um, but this again is one of our most popular and most versatile Samuel Crow necklaces. It is, yeah, it's, it's very it's popular. All, all, all customers, really. And then um, I think this is my last piece of Oana that I haven't yet shown you, um, which I stole from Leighton Buzzard this afternoon for the show because this has just been added to the website. It's not been on there before in this colourway. It's the last one 
um, and this has got the combination of green, blue and turquoise and it looks beautiful on this lovely linen top by GR Nature which I have to show you, it's got the little bow in the back, three quarter sleeve top very sweet piece, cool. it looks really nice with that jewellery I'm just picking up that jewellery because yeah, all the colours good with that as well yeah, over there so a multitude of possibilities there is, yeah um, one more Samuel Corot piece from here um, now we've got a new so this, the glass beads and the rope you may have seen, you know we've had this style before with the double knot and then the knot, we've got a new style which again we've sold out of I will release it on the website ASAP and it comes in, um, it's black beads on a grey thicker rope with a big knot there and the other colourway is pink, and pink orange. beads on an orange rope. Um, I don't have, I've got images, if you want to see images we can, um, I can send them to you, message me and I'll send you the pictures and if you want to we'll add it to our um, next order, sorry, so Mary's going past the background, oh. <laughs> hello Mary! Um, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's definitely sent you pictures you can have a look at. Um, but this design is very attractive and it sits Beautiful. in the neck. And um, I think all the colours work. The black and the grey is a strong contrast. The colour yeah. is really um, striking. And then if you're into the sort of more neutral tones and the earthy colours, then this one is a great piece. And then last but not least, in terms of the um, key accessory pieces, again, <laughs> this little number from Christina Brampe. So again, we've just shown you how you can use um, a solid, interesting shaped background piece. Um, and I'm gonna get myself tied up in knots here, <laughs> literally. This will be interesting. So, <laughs> can never get it back to it. So you can just twist and turn this one into so many different ways. Um, I'm gonna untie it. So you've got a long necklace, so you can wear it long. You can double it up, wear it short in the neck. The magnetic closure you can actually use as part of the, um, the statement aspect of the necklace. Um, and you can do many different knots and ties, and Deb's going to laugh. Because she's like, but she can't remember how to do it. <laughs> it almost doesn't matter. You can just play, you just around, play with it. Play with it and twist it and turn it in different ways, and obviously it will create, depending on how many twists and turns, you'll bring the knot up and make it more bulky or lower and um, it's a really fun and it's got piece. lots of colours in the mesh then if you can see all the different see blue pink red white green a couple of greens orange very nice yellow. Um, so we've had a few more guesses um, do we want to give one more clue one more clue one more clue and then we'll we'll uh, call it a day for guesses and then anybody who said the right name by what time? Oh, you can't see the time on there. Um, by the time we wrap up, um, we'll we'll send a little direct message to with a um, a special code. Yeah. Which I haven't arranged, and I will have to do it later. So if it doesn't come through straight away, it will come through later. Um, <sighs> so the last clue. Well, there was a couple I said earlier, and I don't know which one. Oh. <laughs> I'm mouthing to Joe now, trying to do um, lip reading. Um, oh, we could... I mean, we could talk. So, so this is a very famous singer who's also very famous for playing an instrument. Yep. And he has worked with or came out of a certain. They called it a house of music in the 60s and 70s in America. <laughs> a very, very famous house of music. Yeah. He's quite, <laughs> yes. It was, a, I would say it was a privilege to get to see him. It was. Yeah. It was my lifelong dream to see him. I'd always wanted to see him. Because I grew up with his music and his music from this house, house of music. Okay. It's a business, it's a business, but it's yeah, it was started in a house. 
house. Yeah. The house that Jack built, right? No, no not that not one. The house that Jack no. Built. The house that Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dear. Right. I'll okay. say one more thing. What was okay. it? What was the one I said earlier? Sir Duke. Sir Duke. Is that helping anybody? It might help them. Right. If you know this person, you'll know Sir Duke. <laughs> we have had a few people. We have had some guests, some correct guesses. Okay. So while I'm doing the last wrapping up, um, put your last guesses in and uh, we will follow up. Uh, with text for anybody who said the right name I will say it just r literally as we close up um, anything we need to say we shall be here next week we will if you're watching on um, any other format on YouTube please do subscribe to the channel um, and on Facebook and YouTube or wherever you see anything we do ask you to please comment like share tag friends Put, post it onto your own feed, do whatever, spread the word um, and help other people find the loveliness of King's Road that we are. And have you enjoyed tonight's Style It Live? Have you enjoyed... Oh, <laughs> sorry, I won't read that one out because it will give something away. <laughs> have you enjoyed tonight? Have some thumbs up and hearts if you've enjoyed it. Have you got a favourite jewellery brand that we've shown? Mm -hmm. Be interesting. Have a little read back through and see which one's been most popular what names come up most yeah are they frantically typing or am i <laughs> i'm just gonna look at the time, <laughs> the time. susie says yes as always thank you oh, i'll just do a little zoom down here at some of the samuel yeah. corot yellow so 30 oh so we actually get we haven't managed to so we've said we've got to get back down to an hour. Yeah. <laughs> we've been running over. We've been getting carried away and too excited. We have. Um, so thank you for staying for this full hour and hope you've enjoyed it. The answer to the question is the famous, legendary soul and Motown uh, performance performer that we went to see at Hyde Park some years ago is the amazing... Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Yay. So thank you if you had a guess. At so that. yeah, we've got a few correct got guesses here. Fantastic. Okay, I will uh, watch back through, grab your names and send you a message and you will receive a code that you can use online or in store um, for 20% off um, your next jewellery purchase within the coming week um, until our show next Friday. <laughs> Any questions? As always, you can come to us in all the different channels and we will get back to you as soon as we can. And if you want to, come and see us in the shops because that's where all the fun happens. Yay, it certainly does. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.